everybody and welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in like two weeks. My last video, my July favorites was pre-recorded, which of course is linked above and below. Today I thought we would do a foundation, first impressions and wear test. I don't think I've done one of these in like a year. Like I actually think my last wear test um, and review of foundation was a milk makeup flex stick that came out last year. So I figured it was time and I know we're not really going out right now. So it's hard to really like test being out and about with um, a new product. But um, I am going to put this on and wear this for about seven to eight hours. It's currently 2 p.m. And I am going to go to dinner. Um, I'm gonna be outside, I'm gonna be out and about. So I will do check-ins throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening, just so you can see what it looks like. And the foundation we are going to be testing out today is the new Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. Um, the Born This Way Foundation is like a cult favorite in the industry, it's a classic. And you guys know how much I love my Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. So when I saw they came out with a matte version, I was like, okay, I have to try it. So I literally went to Sephora yesterday, got my shade. Well, this is gonna be like my summer shade, but you'll see. And I'm gonna be testing it out for you and going over the claims and everything in this video. So I'm excited if you wanna see me apply this and wear it throughout the day and give you my thoughts and my review. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, dokey. So I did self tan a couple days ago. I don't look super duper tan, but I did get the shade Warm Beige. Normally I use the shade Natural Beige, which is what I have in my Peach Perfect foundation. But I have used the shade Sand before, which is one more darker than this. And that one has a golden undertone and that matches me when I'm super duper tan. So this should be a nice in between. Warm Beige is medium with neutral um, undertones. So I love this Unicarton. I know Too Faced is like a hit or miss brand, but I love their peach line. And I've never actually tried their original Born This Way foundation just because I've heard that it's a little bit too dewy, and a little bit too oily, and I have oily skin. So this claims it's oil-free, oil controlling, waterproof, and transfer resistant, 24 hour, undetectable, super long wear foundation. Now you guys know, um, the true test, I feel like, of a foundation nowadays is going outside in the heat, number one, and number two, wearing a mask, which honestly, I don't really like doing that because I have found that my face down here has been breaking out. I mean, you can see like remnants of pimples that I've had here because of wearing a mask for prolonged periods of time or wearing makeup in a mask, which is not my favorite, but it's the name of the game these days. So make sure you're wearing your mask no matter what. Um, but this is infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. And I'm gonna read you this little blurb. This oil-free 24-hour matte foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. The matte formula stays completely color true, so I'm assuming that means it's not gonna oxidize or get darker, um, while covering imperfections to reveal the all-day shine-free look of naturally flawless skin. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. This is one fluid ounce, which is standard for a foundation and it does retail for $40 at Sephora. It is available right now um, on Sephora.com and in stores, but I believe on Ulta, it's not coming out till the 22nd or 23rd of this month. So um, it's coming a little bit later to Ulta, but if you do um, want to get it and purchase it before then, go to Sephora and get it then. So this is what the packaging looks like. If I'm not mistaken, it definitely looks skinnier than the regular Born This Way. I feel like they did that deliberately to kind of differentiate the packaging with the formulas. The regular original Born This Way is like a little bit fatter and shorter and this one is longer and taller, but I believe that one is also one fluid ounce. Not that that matters, but I just thought maybe you'd wanna know. So I haven't done a wear test in a really long time. What I am going to do and what I usually do in my reviews and wear tests is I will go in with a primer and a setting powder and a setting spray that do not claim to be mattifying or long wearing because I want to really test this product. And even though I'm applying, you know, the base products and whatnot, I don't want to deviate from what I would normally do in my um, everyday routine. I always set, I always prime and I always use a setting spray. So obviously the test is to see how it would wear you know, on a daily basis or, you know, in my average routine. So to prime, I'm actually gonna go in with the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This is the Energize and Rescue Aloe Coconut Water and Probiotics Primer. It does not mattify, it's not a long wearing primer. It's just to give you that nice kind of base. So it comes out like this, it does not have silicones. It just feels like a nice kind of um, moisturizing, um, 
product for your skin. Okay, and then today I'm gonna to be going in with a brush. Honestly, nine times out of 10, I am usually going in with a brush. So, and of course I'm gonna do my face today first. And normally I do two pumps. This does claim it's medium to full coverage. It actually doesn't say the coverage. It says lightweight wear and coverage. I assume it's medium to full at least we'll see it claims it's waterproof and transfer resistant the transfer resistant is a big claim but we will really put that to the test when i go out later and wear a mask and i'll show you the mask and everything so yeah let's just get to trying this bad boy so i'm gonna just do two pumps the first pumps are always exciting oh one two okay i like the packaging very even um you can see it's definitely a little tan so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to do dots all over my face like that and then just start blending it in so right away the consistency does remind me of the peach perfect foundation but i would say this is actually a little bit thinner in consistency than the peach perfect but it actually i mean you can see it didn't take any time at all to blend into the skin I am using a brush, so obviously if you swipe, you are going to have brush strokes, which are avoidable if you obviously just pat it in with a brush after or go in with a sponge. But two pumps of foundation is pretty much all I do. I don't really like to cake on the foundation. I like to add more coverage with spot concealing if necessary to, you know, acne or hyperpigmentation. So yeah, wow. Okay, so this is my face upon application, and that's all the foundation that I'm going to do. But what do you guys think? I feel like I look a little bit radiant. I mean, not radiant, but this is a matte foundation. It is a little bit tacky, but not super duper tacky, but I am oily. So that's to be expected. But it does feel lightweight. Like my face doesn't feel heavy. I still feel like I got a decent amount of coverage. I would say it's medium to full coverage. If I did a second layer, I feel like I would definitely have like full coverage, but it's not going to be like a Jouer high coverage foundation. It's not going to be like my Smashbox 24 hour foundation where it's like a tiny pea drop and you're like a mask. This would be a great daily foundation. Um, something to wear during the summer months. I'm going to do, um, obviously different shots of my face in natural light and whatnot, but this is just the initial application. I feel like it looks good like I definitely feel like it is accentuating my texture 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 but that is to be expected with matte foundations it's pretty much inevitable if you have texture and you apply like a product on top of it especially a matte product um it will kind of bring out that texture just because there's no luminosity or anything to disguise it but overall I think this looks pretty good it definitely is lightweight and thin um but pigment wise I think it is a great medium to full coverage so I am actually going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be back and then we'll begin the wear test. All right, guys, so I am back with my makeup done. I will quickly run through the products that I'm using on my face and I will list them in the description box below as well. So I went in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium honey to highlight under my eyes and highlight the center of my face. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade medium 105 to spot conceal. And also this is a hydrating concealer, so it's not gonna extra mattify my face, if you know what I mean. Um, for powder, I went in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, of course, for under my eyes. And then all over my face, I went in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder because this is not a mattifying powder. This is just a blurring powder. So I went over it all over my face, but barely tapped this in because I really want to test the longevity of this foundation. And obviously, I think that with wearing a mask, no matter what products you use, a little bit's going to come off at least. So I barely applied it all over my face, but I especially like didn't do a lot at all on this part of my face where the mask would be just so I could really see how transfer proof this foundation really is bronzer I used an oldie but a goodie the Catrice Sun Glow matte bronzing powder for medium skin blush is the Milani Sunset Passion Passion blush and then highlight I went in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati and then for my brows I actually went in with something a little bit different I went in with the Billion Dollar Brows Micro Blade Effect Brow Pen looks like this and then just set that with my ColourPop tinted brow gel in dark brown on top to give it a little bit more color and definition. And then for eyes, I went in with the Afrique by Juvia's Place palette. This is such a good palette. Juvia's Place eyeshadows usually are freaking amazing. And this is such a great 
colorful but also very neutral palette and then the sparkle that you see on my lid is the ColourPop super shock shadow in the shade okay one of my favorite kind of like glittery toppers ever it's so beautiful and then eyeliner i went in with the appeal cosmetics gel eyeliner to tight line and do a little bit on my top lash line as well and then for mascara i went with my tarte big ego mascara this neon pink guy right here it is really really good and if you want to see me talk about my mascaras i will link that video down below as well this is my favorite lip liner this is the milani color statement lip liner in the shade spice and then for lipstick i'm wearing the real herb moisturizing lipstick in the shade i am fierce which is like a really pretty like kind of bright red you can see right here this is my first time wearing this lipstick you guys know i love the real her matte liquid lipsticks and the regular lipsticks they're freaking amazing and now i am going to set my face but i wanted to come on here before i did so just so that you could see what my face looks like so i'm going to give you a once over before i set it so this is what we're working with right now freshly applied the whole shebang a little bit of powder but really not a lot and then i always set my face but i'm going to do a very light setting of this because i really want to test the foundation um this is the morphe continuous setting mist this is not a mattifying setting mist this is not this version this is not like a cover effects high performance or kat von d um lock it this is just going to just make your makeup sink into your skin a little bit more to make it look more natural so here we go and that's literally all i'm gonna do <laughs> so yeah okay so i am now going to take you to my window you guys know if you have been watching my videos which thank you so much um just a really brief side note i am not on the road to a thousand subscribers but i that is my next milestone so thank you so much to anybody who has watched my videos over the past two years um my friends you know the people that constantly comment on my videos the people that watch i really really do appreciate you and i love doing this it's my favorite hobby ever and i'm so blessed to be doing it and you know to to love it so much so if you have been watching my videos and you have seen my wear test before which is the point i was getting at you will know that i like to do check-ins in front of my window because i get a lot of natural light and you can see it in a different kind of setting so let's go ahead and do that okay so this is my face right in front of my big window in my bedroom where it's only natural light um i will say with this foundation the thing that i am noticing that's probably the biggest con for me is the fact that it is making my skin look super textured and now i know obviously since i have texture on my skin inevitably you're gonna see it once i put makeup on but i feel like this is one of those foundations that really enhances it more than anything else and that can happen with a matte foundation specifically for the reasons i had mentioned earlier um right now between this and my Too faced peach perfect that one is six dollars cheaper i like that a little bit more it gives you more of a satin matte finish where this gives you like a super matte finish so i'm excited to see how this wears it my oily skin loves a matte foundation so i'm excited to see how it performs in this heat with a mask all that jazz wearing it for the next several hours but as you can see this is what my face looks like right now you can see my texture kind of emphasized in this area that i have texture in but overall after i did apply it before i even set powder i touched my face again and it was almost dry like that is so rare for me normally i well i always set my face with powder just because i like to make it stay as long as possible but usually no matter what i will touch my face and it'll be tacky just from the natural oils in my face and the emollient texture of the foundation itself when it's wet i was pleasantly surprised to touch my face only like a minute after application and things were pretty much set down i will continue to wear this throughout the day give you different perspectives um as i mentioned i'll be going out to dinner so i'll check in with you before then and after then and also while i'm here um i am going to be attempting to learn a couple tiktok dances which i know sounds dumb but it's a great form of cardio and we'll see how the sweat deals with this so i will check in with you then hey guys so we're about an hour in and i know it's not a very long time at all but i have been sweating learning tiktok dances i changed obviously and my hair is different because um i was filming tiktoks and also it was like too hot and i don't know if you can see the sweat <laughs> dripping down my face that's kind of gross but this foundation is actually doing really really well let me actually take you to different lighting in my place so i don't know if you can tell but i really like how this foundation looks other than the fact that again it's emphasizing all the texture on my face but with that being said i think it's holding up really really well like i don't see any transfer even in my sweaty areas so this is promising again the real test will be when i go out 
sorry i'm out of breath <laughs> tiktok dances are still like an excellent source of cardio i will say the true test will be when i go out and wear it with a mask but so far it's feeling really good doesn't feel tacky even though i do have oily skin and i still look nice and matte and again i know it's been only an hour but i have been sweating a lot so for my forehead to not look shiny at all i mean you can see the sweat brimming there but for my forehead to not look shiny at all is a big deal i had lipstick on my teeth but can you guys see the sweat <laughs> oh boy but i still think i look pretty good i mean i'll try to like dab away the sweat right now so you guys can see i'm sorry it's like kind of gross but it's not really affecting the foundation it did say it was sweat proof so yeah all right see you guys in a bit okay guys so it is now 6 11 p.m we are four hours into this and it's 106 degrees outside i don't know if you can literally see right there i just arrived at the restaurant so i have not put my mask on yet but i am about to to walk outside and then my final check will probably be once i get done with dinner and i have been wearing my mask so i'll show you but i have been wearing my sunglasses and um my imprints aren't even bad at all like obviously it's there because i've been sweating but i'm liking this foundation it is very matte but i am very very impressed with how smooth my skin is still looking like even after dancing and sweating and in this heat so overall very happy i have the ac blasting right now but i'm about to go out meet my friend for dinner and then i will do another check-in probably my final check-in um in a few hours so four hours in so far pretty good the texture thing i feel like i'm gonna say it in every check-in but i mean it is what it is for a matte foundation so yeah i don't know also why i put on the ColourPop phoenix lip gloss which is like a sticky gloss i tried to dab it off but i put it on top of this lipstick just because my lips wanted a little extra moisture and it's gonna transfer so much on the mask and right before dinner what was i thinking anyway i will see you soon hello everybody so i just got home as you can see obviously there's no natural light it is now okay this is attempt number three to film my final review so i have shown you guys the inside of my mask so this is the inside of my mask right here as you can see my foundation did come off a little bit and my lipstick but with that being said we live in different times inevitably if you rub something on your face or have a mask and you're talking which i was a lot with this things are going to come off so i'm not really holding this against that but with that being said if you look at my face up close you won't see chunks missing i'm looking at my face in the mirror in the ring light i see the texture that is the thing that stands out to me the most is you can see my texture right here just super duper pronounced more than normal with a foundation i feel but I do have a lot of texture from wearing masks. So it's kind of like a catch 22. But even though there is foundation transfer on here, I don't really feel like it's reflected on my face. Like I don't see chunks missing. Like it still looks pretty smooth. Like sure, I look a little bit dewy here and here in my T-zone and I don't look fresh. And it looks a tiny bit kicky on my nose. But I didn't use mattifying products. I didn't use a mattifying setting spray. I didn't use, excuse me, a mattifying powder. I didn't use a mattifying primer. So... I feel like if this is how my face is going to look after eight hours in the heat like this and I still look pretty good, it's going to be definitely better and mitigated when I use mattifying products just because I have oily skin. So that is definitely promising and the fact that I still look smooth. Again, the only thing that I would knock down with this is that it just emphasizes my texture. Really matte foundations tend to do that. And I wouldn't even think it's the most matte foundation that I have, but there's just something about it that... It goes on so smoothly, but if you have texture, just be wary of that. But I am curious to see how this plays with other primers and other powders and things like that. So I will definitely keep playing around with it. As of now, I'm pretty impressed. I would rate it a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Not a full 8 quite yet because the texture thing is like super noticeable to me. But if you're comparing this to like the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation, I would still recommend this over this just because this foundation I feel like is a little bit more forgiving. It's better for more skin types. It doesn't emphasize your texture as much. It is a matte formula, but it's more of a satin matte. It's more creamy. It goes on a little bit more smooth and it doesn't dry down super duper matte, even though it is long wearing. This is awesome, as I mentioned, um, and it is a little bit cheaper than this guy. So if you had to pick like a Too Faced foundation that's matte, I would still go with the Peach Perfect one for now. 
but I'm going to hang on to this and keep playing around with it and I will let you know if my opinions change. But yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the swear test. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Hope you're staying safe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I have to go shower and get ready for bed now. I have work tomorrow, so I will see you in my next one. Bye.